Hi, Chris Gaynor here, and in this video I'm going to talk to you uh, about um, top 10 internet marketing mistakes uh, you need to avoid when starting out online. Uh, I might have to do this video in two parts because um, it might take a, uh, it might, I, I don't want to make this video too long. But uh, as I say, in this video I'm going to talk about the top 10 internet marketing mistakes you need to avoid, avoid when starting out online. And a lot of people make these mistakes. Um, basically what I'm going to do is go through the different marketing methods, for example um, mobile marketing or uh, article marketing and um, tell you the, the number one reason why people f uh, fail in those particular uh, marketing methods and the mistakes they make. Okay, so uh, let's go into it. So I'm going to start off with email marketing and um, you've probably heard it time and time again that um, the money is in the list. Well, that's obviously true. But the money is is also in. It's not just the money is in the list. It's the money is in the relationship with the list. Now, the number one mistake that people make when they they're doing email marketing is they basically give away a free gift, and they then immediately start marketing paid products to them, especially um, products uh, like. Uh, that are on Clickbank or Clickshore. Um, you shouldn't do this because uh, it's uh, you're not building a relationship with your list. Now, when I say you need to build a relationship, that doesn't just mean throwing free stuff at them every day. That's basically um, not a good way of building a relationship. What you need to do is to build a good relationship with your list is give them good qu quality content and that doesn't necessarily have, have to be every day. Obviously when they first sign up to your list you will uh, have to um, show them that you're a consistent email marketer but once you've started that relationship you can slightly tone down the, the the amount of emails you send but as I say don't just um, email them uh, free gifts that are POR material or recycled material that everyone's doing using I mean I get emails time and time again that are basically uh, rehashed or um, trashy WordPress plugins that are recycled and I've seen them about a hundred times uh, already so basically that's uh, the first mistake with email marketing um, the second mistake is basically um, a lot of people don't actually ask their um, people who are on their list what they actually want in terms of uh, what they want to, to hear from the, the email marketer so basically the way you can do this is to use a to, is to create a survey um, you can use uh, sites like SurveyMonkey for this and basically let them do a survey uh, uh, basically create a survey and then um, give that survey to them. Uh, you could even uh, let them, you could even do the survey and offer it as a way of people of people being able to opt into your email list to get the survey. And then they can fill out the survey and once they're on your list you can, uh, you can have a two-way conversation with them. So uh, that's email marketing mistake number two. Um, the next one I'm going to go to is I'm going to do um, SEO and blogging and really the, the major mistake that people do with SEO uh, particularly when they're uh, blogging is they're basically um, obsessed with getting their 
uh, blog post or website or whatever it may be, uh, getting it ranked on Google on page one or page two. Now, obviously, page one and page two rankings are important, but people become too obsessed with trying to go after the page one or page two ranking and forget that they're actually writing content for a human being. So the way, uh, the advice I have here is to be natural and don't and don't and don't just focus solely on um, page one and page two rankings. Obviously, if you get to page one, and I've had a, uh, I've had a couple of page one and page two rankings, it's a bonus and you do get more traffic. But don't solely focus on that particular. Uh, obsession with page one and page two rankings um, okay so that's SEO and blogging that's the major reason why people uh, fail at SEO because they constantly get obsessed with rankings um, video marketing okay video marketing and I suppose in a way also article marketing the, the, the major reason that people don't uh, people fail at video marketing is is to do with the call to action once someone's watched the video a lot of people don't actually give a, a hard enough call to action which uh, will make the the, the reader uh, the viewer click on the the website uh, link in a description box underneath the video so you need to actually if you're doing a face-to-face -face video for example you need to actually phys physically point uh, your your uh, hands down, saying "click on the link above," etc. Um, and you actually need to tell them not just to click on the link, but actually what they're going to do when they when they've clicked on that link. So, for example, if it's going to a sales page, you need to tell them that there will be a, a buy now but button on that sales page, for example, and. Uh, basically you just need to, to, to give them a clear call to action and to tell them what they're actually going to do when they get to the next page okay so that's um, video marketing uh, the next um, one is article marketing now in article marketing uh, same with video marketing actually the call to action is quite important but with article marketing the, probably the most important um, part of article marketing is the title um, I have written a blog post on this uh, but basically you need to make your title snappy and catchy so that people will click on the link to go to your to the main body of your article so if you're not doing that uh, uh, properly if you're not creating a snappy title with the keyword with your keyword in it uh, you won't get a lot of clicks you'll, you'll get some clicks but you won't get uh, a lot of clicks uh, if your article doesn't in, uh, entice the reader to click by your title okay so that's um, the major reason in article marketing um, the next uh, one is um, PPC, pay-per-click. Now, actually, this is again similar to article marketing. Um, the reason why a lot of people don't get many clicks on their ads is because of, again, the, the copy, the ad copy in the PPC ad. They don't necessarily... Um, you know they don't necessarily create a, a, an enticing ad that will actually um, create uh, the per let the person click on the, the ad so again like with article marketing you need to create a snappy ad that that will um, entice the reader to click and generally uh, for example you don't need to go too over the top but for example, if you're doing if you, if you're in the weight loss niche, for example, and you're and and you're ad, you want to use you in the title. You know, are you, for example, are you losing the weight you deserve? 
etc. Um, you know, asking questions is very important in both article marketing and PPC ads, and indeed in video marketing. You know, the title is very important. So that's uh, that's the that's again a major reason why people fail at PPC. Um, I think I'm basically going to uh, leave this video now because it's getting a bit long and I've still got um, uh, a, cut, a few other uh, major mistakes that people make that I need to cover in another video. So um, okay I hope uh, you enjoyed part one of this video and uh, in part two I'll uh, finish off hopefully. Um, I may even have to create a third video um, if it overruns but uh, basically I've written a PDF of this as well so if you want uh, to gain access to the full PDF then just click the link uh, in the description box underneath this video and you'll be able to have access to the full PDF as well but um, stay continued for the, the, the rest of this video um, if you want okay so don't forget to click the link uh, underneath uh, this video in the description box and I'll uh, speak to you soon in another video okay this is Chris Gaynor signing off thanks very much bye